guys i'm about to head out so this is my outfit of the day it's basically a neutral all blue outfit with a pop of white because i don't have any blue sneakers but <laughs> nonetheless so my hair is just in two twists in the back i have on my jewelry from my shop definitely up on the site the new necklace and new earrings are up on the site um these sweater set is actually from i think h&m or somewhere like that but anyway alicia was selling her poshmark so i thought it was cute <laughs> so i got it so yeah and then these jeans of course amber Crombie and finch have on my pumas and then i have my london fog blue bag that i'm trying to wear more i've had it for years and i think i've only carried it like three or four times it's a tragedy it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a cute little mini tote i love it it even has a little bit of glitter in there i don't know if you guys can see on the sides but anyway this is the outfit of the day excuse my messy room i'm still washing clothes <laughs> i know I'm still washing clothes and cleaning up the house before we leave um for our camping trip so i will check in with you guys a little bit later. hey you guys so it is currently 9 28 and as you can tell i'm in the living fearless office i have packed up all the orders and i am about to head out um i do need to return uh the books to the library and pick up our book club book of the month and i'll let you know what that is when i pick it up um what else do i need to do i need to make a list of all the things that we're going to need for camping next week um so i basically need like battery ziploc bags probably another tablecloth just minor things because you guys know i bought everything for camping last year and i did buy a couple of new things if you watched my last vlog um, to try out on this camping trip so hopefully they work out like I think they should um so I wanted to give you guys an update on my reading so I finished white smoke it was really really good I gave it four stars the ending I I didn't I love I liked the ending but there was some missing pieces that I would like to know what had happened so I gave it four stars y'all know how I feel about endings the book I'm currently reading now is Frederick Backman Beartown you guys know I love him he is a fiction realist author um, he wrote Anxious People, Britt Marie was here, what else did I read? Um, some other stuff from him that was really, really good. Um, but this one here, this here is so good. I'm just, in this book, there are several, there's a bunch of different characters. It's more like family characters, so it's like a, this family, that family, that family, and how it all ties together is they, their children play hockey, or their parents are funding the hockey or their parents is a coach or their parents is really into it this town is very much um disappearing because tourism is going away and the factory is closing and people are losing their jobs and they're moving away and so they're the kids have so much pressure on them to win this tournament for hockey so it's like as you know if you know anything about sports the pressure of sports and winning can be very very traumatic for students and um coaches and parents can make um, children feel some type of way if they lose or win or don't make the team and all this kind of stuff so it goes to that as far as like sportsmanship and then it talks about the parents and how they deal with each of their different children and the thing that's going on and when I tell you this book it's so good I was all up in my feelings yesterday I was all up in my feelings but I could not put it down the way Frederick Backman writes about people's feelings and he can vocalize them or express them in the words I can relate to a lot of ways that the parents feel in this book, some of the teenagers feel in the book. Like this is going to be a good one. I can, I can just feel it. And there's a part two. So I know it probably may end on a cliffhanger, but I don't care if I already have the second book. But so far, so good. I am pretty much halfway in this book and I just started this book. Um, what's today? Friday? Probably on Thursday, I think, or either yesterday. I started either Thursday or yesterday. I think it was not thursday yes they was thursday kills i mean wednesday <laughs> i think i started this book on wednesday i'm already on page 198 and um it has 415 pages so i have a feeling i'm either going to be finished with this book today or tomorrow um and then we do have the kenny g concert tonight so i don't know if me and alicia are gonna go out to eat before the concert because she says she got a lot going on so we may or may not so i might just uh pick her up i think it's better if i pick her up and we only take one car because it's going to be kind of hard to park downtown so i'll email i'll text her about that if she wants me to pick her up even if we don't go to dinner i mean i have to pass by her house anyway so it's no big deal 
um, for the concert tonight. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm about to head out to drop off these orders and head to the library to pick up this book. So I will check in with you guys later. It's 11 29 i'm at another library in trustville i actually was on my way to go to lunch but my friend wants to go to lunch with me ophelia haven't talked to her for in a minute i'd be forgetting y'all i'm so bad at like checking up on my friends but they're used to it but when i think about it i'm like hey i'm just calling to check up on you hadn't talked to you in a while my bad like i'm that person um so yeah, so I called and checked on her and she asked me what I was doing and I told her I was getting ready to get something to eat at Five Guys. Um, and so she said that, you know, oh, can you wait on me? So I told her, yeah, I told her I'd drop off that box at UPS for um, the orders. So I dropped that off and then I'm going to go into the library and check my work emails right quick and then chill in there for a minute. And then she's going to call me because it's like literally like five minutes up the street from the library. So I'm just going to go in the library and work on some work right quick and chill out until she tells me that she's almost there. And then we'll have lunch and then I'll head home. I have a meeting at one. So I might take, come back to the library and take that meeting or take it on my phone because there's not really much I got to do in that meeting. It's just more like you know discussion and stuff and it's only 30 minutes so yep so that's what i'm doing um i will check in with you guys in a minute All right, you guys i'm home my meeting is over and now i am about to put in my office <laughs> start at four o'clock oh but anyway i'm home and i am about to go in my office and watch some tv while i clean up in there my room is still atrocious i have to do a lot of cleaning today and tomorrow um not like organizing because my home is pretty much minimalist at this point but i need to like dust and all that kind of stuff so i am going to clean my office which looks like this right now it's not too bad i just need to like get stuff up off the floor vacuum sweep organize some things put things away get a trash bag for that garbage can kind of spruce up my bookshelves give them a wipe down and stuff like that wipe off my ceiling fan um, and things like that clean off my desk or whatever so i'm about to work on that while i watch some tv or maybe listen to some music um but that's what i'm about to do right now it is currently 1 30 so i told alicia i would pick her up about 6 45 ish i would be at her house for the concert i talked to my friend and she was like yeah just wear i'm just wearing jeans and a nice shirt so i'm gonna go find like Maybe my puff sleeve bodysuit will look good with a nice pair of jeans and my loafers from Belk and like a blazer. I think that's what we're going to do tonight. I think that sounds like a vibe. So I think that's what we're going to do. But we're going to get to cleaning up this office first. <laughs> off most of the desk is cleared enough but all of this will be cleared in a few minutes when I go out of here 
All of that's clean. Cleaned over there, put everything away. So I am ordering some new tips for my Apple Pencil because I must have pressed too hard. It's like super flat at the top. I don't know what I did to it, but it's not writing right. So four tips are like $20. So I ordered them for pickup. I'll pick them up on the way to get Alicia for the concert tonight. I think I found my outfit, super simple. I already know what I'm wearing. Um, and so from the library, I want to show you guys what I got. I end up getting two books. I was only supposed to get one, but another one sounded interesting. So our April book club book of the month is Apple Never Falls by Lainey Moriarty. You know, she works The Husband's Secret, um, Big Little Lies, Nine Perfect Strangers, What Alice Forgot. So I've read The Husband's Secret. It was actually a really, really good book. I read it years ago, gave it five stars. It was the best. If you listen to that, if you read that book, listen to it on audiobook. The woman who did the audiobook did an amazing job, made me fall in love with the story. I read What Alice Forgot. I really liked that book. I gave it five stars. I haven't read Big Little Lies, but I did watch the show. So I did like that. So we will um, see how this goes. It's a thicker too. I think Alicia's gonna be upset because she doesn't like <laughs> thick books, but this book is like 400 or some page. She probably pissed. <laughs> Hopefully she reads it. And then I picked up something you know, I like to peruse the new releases and stuff when I go to the library. So rock, paper, scissor looked it interesting. And it says things have been wrong with Mr. and Mrs. Wright for a long time. When Adam and Amelia went a weekend away to Scotland, it might be just what their marriage needs. Adam has lived with face blindness his whole life. He can't recognize friends or family or even his own wife. Every anniversary, the couple has changed gifts. And each year, Adam's wife writes him a letter she never lets him read until now. They both know this weekend will make or break their marriage, but they didn't randomly win this trip. One of them is lying and someone doesn't want them to live happily ever after. 10 years of marriage, 10 years of secrets, and an anniversary they will never forget. And it's so funny because the library lady was like, ooh, I've been thinking about reading that. Let me know if it's any good. Um, so, uh-oh, trying to call it. Guys, I officially on vacation ooh, ooh, ooh. made it through the last work day of the week and now it is four o'clock i'm about to hop in the shower and get dressed for the kenny g concert i have to go by and pick up my new apple pencil tips from the apple store before i run by and pick up alicia for the concert I think my pickup time is like 5.45. I told Alicia I'd be home around her house about 6.45ish. If I'm early, it'll be fine. But I'm about to go hop in the shower, brush my teeth, wash my face or whatever. We're probably not gonna do makeup today. Don't feel like it, but we will be cute in the outfit area. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me charge my phone um, and um, have my electronics on the charger while I'm gone. My office is nice and clean. <laughs> all the laundry in the house has been done all of my laundry stuff i think i have one more load and i'll do that probably tomorrow morning guys sorry for the messy room but i'm about to leave so this is my outfit of the night so i have on this faux leather jacket from zara this puff sleeve bodysuit from my shop amari rose my denim jeans that also were in my shop they're all sold out but i still have some of these puff sleeve bodysuits my jelly pop boots from Belk and then all of my jewelry is from Amari Rose. This bag is from Nina West and this is the outfit for the concert tonight. So let's get going. I gotta go by the Apple store and then I have to go pick up Alicia. So I'm out, let me go tell the kids bye. And I'll check in with you guys later. All right, you guys, we're heading into the BJCC concert hall and hopefully we can find our car later because i've never parked on this side of the bjcc before so i don't know where we are but we're going to remember which door we came in so we know which door to come out of all right you guys we're out of the concert it was everything it was so good y'all I have to go see him again. I might. He might do a double take. We might do a double take with him. Yes, if he comes back next year, because he was here last year. If he come back next year. I'm gonna see him again. I don't know he threw that off. All right, you guys. I just made it home from the concert. It's 12:41. I actually 
I think we got to Alicia's house about 10 or something. Of course, we get to talking because we always be talking. But anyway, um, I made it home. Alarm is on. I am so tired, sleepy. Um, the concert was everything. Kenny G is just as good in person as he is in his cds and he's such a funny guy i never knew he just never seems like the person who would be like silly or have like a funny personality but his personality was everything um but yeah i had a really really great time we had great seats as you guys saw um we had really really good seats and it was just overall a great concert i definitely would see him again and wouldn't mind listening to his music all over again um so yeah but anyway, I'm about to put on my pajamas and um, get ready for bed because, you know, I have a long day of cleaning tomorrow and all that. So I need to, you know, get some rest. Okay. Well, it is tomorrow, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So I'm about to get undressed and put my pajamas on. And then tomorrow is definitely going to be a clean up my room day. And just get this house in order because it is a mess, you guys. It is a whole mess. So, I will see you guys manana. Good you guys. Happy Saturday. So, it's currently... What time is it? 8.06 a.m. And I am about to record this Saturday, Saturday right quick. <laughs> and... <clears throat> I'll probably record one today, record one tomorrow for um, April, and then um, the vlog for April, and then I need another video for next week. So we'll figure that out. But anyway, I have to get ready to record. I got my shirt I'm gonna wear over there hanging. This is gonna be a little striped sweater or whatnot I'm gonna close everything all right you guys I'm finished recording and I just went in the kitchen and got me a cup of water and I made me some bagels and I'm importing the plate so I can go ahead and edit it because the video of course has to go out today <laughs> of course um <clears throat> took the hot ass sweater off And I'm just transferring last night's footage from my phone to my MacBook Air to my iMac. For some reason, the transfer process goes faster if I transfer it from my phone to my MacBook Air than to my iMac. And I think since my iMac is super old, so it doesn't really work well. So I'm doing that while I eat. And then we're going to start editing everything. Oh, well. This stuff I just downloaded. I'm sure y'all want to see me eat and edit, so I'll be back when I <clears throat> have a couple of things on my list today. Let's see if I wrote on my iPad, child, because I had to write this shit down. I ain't going to remember. For real, for real. Let's see what I wrote in my good notes. So I have to clean out my car and then set up the base of the car camping platform back into the back of the car um get out all my camping gear and do an inventory check make sure anything needs to be clean make sure there's not no bugs on it because it has been out in the shed and then i have to create a list of stuff to buy like batteries tablecloth stuff like that and then make a grocery list about what we're going to eat while we're out there and I also need to clean up the den in the living room today and probably the dining room. The den is pretty much clean. I just need to wipe everything down and mop. Same thing in the living room. Well, the living room probably won't do today because everything from camping is going to be in the living room. So maybe I need to clean it. But I feel like if I clean it before I bring in the camping gear, it's going to get dirty. So I think we'll wait on the living room. But we could probably do um, the kitchen, the dining room, and the laundry room. And get it cleaned up y'all saw me clean up my office yesterday my bedroom will probably be cleaned up tomorrow 
Um, so yeah, and then tomorrow we'll be shopping also for like groceries and stuff like that. So that is the game plan for today. Um, so yeah, so I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Guys, it's currently 1057, so 11 o'clock. The video is uploading, uploading, uploading. So it will go out right on time because it has like 51 minutes. So just barely making it to 12 o'clock. But I'm about to do some cleaning up now. I'm about to turn on some music. And I'm gonna um, deep clean the den right quick. So I'll let you guys watch me clean. Y'all haven't seen me clean up in a minute. So let's do some cleaning, you guys. So I am packing, unpacking everything out of the shed. Y'all remember last year when I packed everything away and cleaned up my den, I think around Thanksgiving. This is everything. So I just took, these. Are the, this is the bottom pallet that goes all the way in the back of the car. The two that goes on top of it or with it, I already just took in the house. So this is the back of it. That's the tent from last year that I couldn't get back in the bag. So I just put it in a garbage bag. That's my kitchen table. Then that's the, um, what you call it? The canopy, the coffee pot thing that my neighbor gave me. And then everything else is packed up in here. So air mattress, fans. I think the propane is in here too. I have to unpack it and do inventory. Like I said, it's almost two o'clock. I think yeah, it's almost two o'clock. I brought in everything from the shed. I love how organized I have it in that BM. Damn. Just some stuff for my car. And then the rest of the stuff for Kanka. I'm about to chill out for like probably like 30 minutes. Probably to like 2 30 because I'm tired. It was hard work bringing all that stuff in the house. So I'm just going to sit here in my Papa's on chair. You know, my peanut m and from last night that I didn't eat from the concert. And read some more of Bear Town. I'm on page 213. So I haven't gotten that far. I only read 13 more pages since yesterday. This morning when I got up, I'm about to read some more to about 2.30. I'm kind of sleepy, so I hope I don't fall asleep. Because I don't have time to fall asleep. <laughs> I got shit to do. But I'm ticking off my to-do list. I'm ticking it off. We'll go over it later because I forgot what it is over my iPad. But we ticking off a lot of stuff, so. Yeah. All right. Let me chill for a minute and I'll be back. Oh, yeah. I took a little nap. It's 3 o'clock. Um, almost 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock? 2.55. 3 o'clock. Anyway, I took a nap. Bear Town is getting really, really good. I'm on page. I'm on chapter 31. On page 243, I most likely will finish this tonight because I need to know what happens. <laughs> and then I'll probably start the second book to this. It's a, I don't know if it's a series or if it's just a duology. I'm not really sure. I think it's just a duology. But anyway, it's really good. Getting good. 
Anyway, I'm about to get up because I know if I don't get up and go back and clean the car out now, it will not get back and clean out or washed or any of that before we go camping. And I want to make sure the car is clean and fresh before we go camping. So one thing about going out of town, going on vacation, you so much prep work. Like you have to prep before you leave, prep when you come back. It's just a lot. <laughs> but I need to do it while I have the energy. So at least like if I get a lot of the prep work done today, I can get the car prepped up and kind of sort of, you know, packed a little bit. And then tomorrow I'll get the rest of it packed and then I can just rest tomorrow and have a good girls night for dinner. I can't wait for dinner tomorrow night. Super excited. So yeah, let me go vacuum clean this car out, you guys. Let's go. guys we are finished it is 358 so it took me probably about 10 15 minutes to get here so 45 minutes to wash and vacuum the car I left my, my dashboard stuff at home so when I get home I'm gonna shine up everything in the car and dust it off because I left it at home like a dummy um, but yes the car is completely clean so now we can get it set up for camping I'm super excited so let's head back to the house and get our life <laughs> guys i am finished cleaning the car so basically i wiped all the windows wiped down the dashboard and everything all of that in the back back there your girl is tired okay platform in there the car is all cleaned out y'all seen the platform before but just in case you're new here I will link my playlist to car camping but that's basically what it looks like it's just a platform for us to be able to put our mattresses on and stuff so we could sleep in the car and this folds out to make it a bed the long ways like that and then it, it extends all the way out um, this part will slide back and come all the way to the headrest so this is just half and it just folds back up it's on hinges and I made two separate pieces so yep anyway I'm about to go in the house because your girl has been working today working like a Hebrew slave <laughs> so I'll check in with you guys Probably later on tonight. Um, girl tired. I need a little rest. I need to watch a movie, read a book or something and chill out for a minute before I get back to the hitting the ground running. <laughs> Good morning you guys. Happy Sunday. One more day to camping. Hey. One more day to camping. Hey. <laughs> I'm goofy. Yeah. So I'm up. It's pretty early. Is it seven o'clock yet? Yeah, it's almost 8 o'clock, so got my little heater on because we have a frost warning until 8 o'clock. Yes, yeah, a frost warning until 8 o'clock, so I just have my heater on my room to kind of bite the chill off. It feels good. It's like I told you guys, my room is always the coldest in the house because I don't know for what. I think I need to get like my bench check and stuff. I want to get them fully replaced, so 
yeah that's gonna be on down the line i need some money for that but anyway so i keep my little heater on to get the chill off and then i'll turn it off um i just got finished doing some hot water so i can make me a chai latte this morning warm up a little bit um so i want to talk about so bear town you guys i tried to finish it last night it was getting so good i'm on page 333 so chapter 42 so i'm pretty much almost done there are 413 pages i believe 415 pages in 50 chapters so i'm actually eight chapters away to finish this so i definitely will finish this today because i need to know what happens okay it's so good um and then i am about to get my newsletter together for my new jewelry coming out today i was supposed to do it last night but i tried to finish bear town and then i fell asleep so that was the end of that but i'm gonna do that right now so the newsletter can go out at nine and um then we gotta work on cleaning up my room All right, you guys so i've unpacked the tote and basically we're taking everything except this tent right here we don't need it so and here are the side walls for the canopy along with a tarp i only have two things of propane left so i definitely have to go get propane i don't think i'm gonna take this coffee maker thing because i don't feel like being bothered so we're gonna leave this here and plus it's not winter time maybe when i go winter camping this winter I'll do it, but I'm not taking that. Um, then we got our flashlights and our headlamps from when we have to walk in the dark. One of my little pull-up pop-up lights and the rest of them I need to get out. This is that pop-up tent thing I was telling you guys about. And there's an extra tarp in here. This is my son's queen-size air mattress for him. And here are those, that new air mattress for in the car. And then these two things are the door covers i have my jackery which i need to go ahead and charge then in here is that portable potty i have two extension cords and here is my son's tent and the canopy top because i can't get either one of them back in the bag <laughs> and then we have our three um fans so this one must have fixed itself when it was out there in that hot sun because it popped back out it was one of them was squished but I guess it popped out this one is not working so i'm assuming it needs battery so i'm gonna check on this one the other two are working fine these are two camp chairs my camp kitchen table thing the canopy this is just stuff i got out of my car we have the other camping chair here and the reflectix for the windows i'm not bringing this either because i don't need it um and now I'm in the kitchen actually cleaning the camp stove. Somebody gave me this and you're supposed to be able to cook on it, but I don't know if I'm gonna bring it with me or not. I'll have to see, I don't know yet. Um, but then we have the cook stove. So I'm actually getting ready to clean it off and just sanitize it. I've already sprayed it down with some um, Clorox cleanup. Cause you guys know I don't play about food. It's been out in the shed i don't know what's crawled all over it so we're gonna go ahead and clean it off with some chlorox cleanup and make sure it's good and sanitized okay because we don't have time for those games <laughs> so i'm gonna clean that right quick finish cleaning up my room i started working on clearing things out like these boxes and stuff um this is what my room is looking like i washed my sheets gotta clean this off and all of that and do the ceiling fan and stuff those are sheet sets that i bought last summer you guys know i bought these um ray dunn sheet sets that says relaxed and blessed y'all they are so hard after you wash them, they're not comfortable or soft at all. And that is not the feeling <laughs> that I am going for in my bedroom. I need soft uh, cloud-like sheets that are dry wick that'll keep you cool and warm. Like these ain't it. So 
I'm getting rid of those. I've only used them once or twice and washed them and I'm going to take them to the hand home so they could possibly sell them and make some money. Dress. I'm a proud outfit repeater. <laughs> so I basically have my hair in a ponytail because we're not being bothered. I have on this turtleneck under this white button down shirt with my Amber Crombie jeans and my um, combat boots. So this is like what I'm going to wear tonight. But tonight I probably will put on my heels. Or I might just keep on my combat boots and then throw on my um, brown blazer. It's pretty cool outside. You know, I don't like to be cold. So. This is the outfit and we're about to leave because it's 3 o'clock so we're running a little bit late so let's go. early the next morning I forgot to close out the vlog but I got home from dinner it was so good you guys um, I had the lamb chops with Brussels sprouts and it was so good so so good worth every penny the lamb chops was good baby they still in the refrigerator waiting to be eaten for breakfast for sure and I just finished Bear Town, y'all. It was so good. Five stars. It ended amazing. Can't wait for the second book. I don't know what the second book is gonna be about, so hopefully it's good. But um, because this one didn't too much in on the cliffhanger, kind of wrapped everything up. So I don't know why he wrote a second book, but we shall see. Because that's probably what I'm gonna be reading on the camping trip. But yeah, I'm up early as always because I've got to turn my alarm off. So it's 6.33 in the morning on Monday. So just closing the vlog out. Just finished the book. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's, in, this week's vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.